Hey, uh, real quick, before we do anything, I got two things we gotta do. I do a really bad podcast called Cut the Tape, and for like the last six years, there's been no intro to it. So Lucas is gonna record everyone, and on the count of three, I need everyone to say, cut the tape. And that's gonna be the intro to the show, okay? So one, two, three. Cut the tape! Lucas, did you get that? Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. Oh, hey everybody, welcome to the first Cut the Tape of 2024. This is the last time I'm gonna do cut the tape in the frame and picture shop. Why? Because over on the other side of this wall is my comic book and collectible toy store. And that will hopefully open at the end of March called Has Been Toys and Comics. Uh, Hasbeentoysandcomics.com. Website is up, but it's just a temporary site. So after all these years of having worked in a collectible toy shop called Play With This when I was a kid. Then I wrote a couple books on Transformers. Then I went to consult for Hasbro. Then I got hired at Hasbro. And then I left Hasbro. And then I wrote another book. And then I bought a frame shop. It's finally happening. I'm opening my own collectible toy and comic book shop. And because I used to work at Hasbro, I'm a has-been, and th so I thought, let's just call it has-been. This is a super special box. This box came to me from Aunt Jessica all the way from Hong Kong. Now, Aunt Jessica is my wife's aunt, and she's very nice and very pretty. And she went to Hong Kong where she used to live and she went to visit the Transformers restaurant in Hong Kong because I asked her to. She doesn't even like me that much. Nobody likes me. But Aunt Jessica was very nice. And so I dedicate this cut the tape episode to Aunt Jessica. This box is going to make a lot of people jealous. So let's get into, by the way, this is how they tape boxes in Hong Kong. So you can, you know, you have a little handle, maybe not just Hong Kong, but you know, other places in the world. Pretty smart. Ooh, I've had this box for about two weeks now. I just had to wait. Just had to wait until I had enough stuff to cut, to cut the tape. Yeah! Oh, Aunt Jessica, Aunt Jessica, I love you. I love you so much, Aunt Jessica. Look, look. I have, <laughs> I can't believe I have these. Transformers infused with flavor. Transformers The Ark. And it's got, I don't know, a pig nose, a cow, or a chicken to let you know which of these is going to be your sandwich. On the other side, it's a fish, dot, 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 or new. And what's crazy is the best creative and most delicious burgers in China. I think think yeah I think you can get these at the gift shop without ever having food in them so we have a burger container from the ark look at that it's from the ark transformers the burger container we have the ark gift bag there it is the ark gift bag <gasps> There's something inside. <laughs> Transformers the Ark napkins. <sighs> Transformers the Ark napkins. Oh man. Woo! 
getting the vapors. I'm so, so excited. Oh, this is probably going to be my, one of my two favorite pieces. Transformers, the French fry holder. And the French fry holder is the arc. And this one's unused. Aunt Jessica, thank you. You put the, for the fries are sticking out, right? This is gonna fold, oh look, it's, you know, you fold this over to, to keep the thing contained so that the fries don't fall out or some of them don't fall out. This is pretty exciting. I'm gonna just open, take a quick peek just to see if there, no, there's nothing inside, but this is pretty exciting. Transformers, the Ark, straight from Hong Kong, the Autobot pizza box. You open the box up, you put your pizza inside. Once again, this is unused. Thank you, Aunt Jessica. Cindy used to be my favorite. Now it's now it's Jessica. Yeah. Nobody likes Sharon. Just, just kidding. Just kidding. Transformers the pizza box. And then look, look at the care that this woman. Is there anything else? Like some money? Or no. Look at the care that this woman has for me. For me. Transformers the Ark placemat. It's a placemat that you can only get at the Transformers restaurant in Hong Kong. It's officially licensed. This is all this is all real things. And I have them now. Pizza box, and this is probably the most well-known thing. That she had a cup too. But the cup didn't make it, I guess. There was a cup in the picture, but she it looked like she was drinking out of it. That, that I gotta do something nice for her. Speaking of other things that are nice, I got my first pile of loot from the biggest, baddest toy store there is. Uh I mean, no matter how much a girl has been toys and comics, it's never going to be a bad toy store. So let's take a look. Ooh. Uh, just one reptilian. All right. You know, I got, I got four boxes in this pile of loot. And the other three boxes came FedEx. This box came DHL. It had one thing in it. It's a, like a Sly retool repaint. It's Troop Builder. If you know me, you know I love my Troop Builders. Uh, I have about 200 some G.I. Joe Troop Builders all complete in the case over there. We have about 600 G.I. Joes all loose complete. It took me three days to piece them together. We got about... 400 Transformers in the case, and another couple hundred coming. We've got Vintage Ninja Turtles, Vintage He-Man, Smurfs, 12-inch G.I. Joes. I got a few Barbies from 1964 over there. All right. What, what, does, what does a man of my taste purchase? Well, I can tell you of Mad of My Taste does enjoy a little MMC. This is MMC, right? Yeah, Mastermind Creations. Yep, Rosanna and Transtech Cheetor. Inspired by quality. We have, oh, Soundwave. And you know what head I'm going to go with? I'm going to go with that comic accurate head because this is the only one 
that has that comic accurate head. So it's gonna get a comic accurate head. Oh yeah, my Rekgar has the toy head. Cause it's just so giant and bulky and ridiculous, I love it. We have, uh, this is, oh, um, Deceased Optimus. This is the, I believe, third? No, one, two, this is the fourth official sleep mode dead Optimus figure we've gotten from Haztac. I don't, I don't understand, like, Star Wars is at that point where they're making the guy who's running through Cloud City with the ice cream maker. All right, they're, they're at that point. But now we're at the point where it's like, let's not make a white Optimus. Let's not make a yellow or a shiny Optimus. Let's not make a uh, orange Apex Armor Optimus. Let's not even make an Action Master colored Optimus. You're certainly not going to make them green. Let's make the dead Optimus toy. Because if there's anything kids want to play with, it's a representation of a dead Optimus Prime. I, you know, just after that buildup, I feel like I have to show it. I will say, at least this one looks like a statue. You can make a nice, cool-looking statue out of that. You know, for your Micro Masters. Put them on a pedestal. Why not? That's probably the best dead Optimus toy out of all of them, but... Oh, uh, Mongor. Thundercats. Thundercats Mongor. Thundercats are on the loose. We have... Oh. DX collectible figure RC. We might we might have to pop that open on film. We might have to pop that that one open. <laughs> ah, Skeletor blood. Coffee. The official coffee of Masters of the Universe. Whole bean, the way I like it. Wow. For ages, Skeletor ravaged the land and terrorized the people of Eternia in his quest to capture all of the power of the universe for himself. Now, the nefarious scourge of Eternia plots his final hostile takeover of Castle Grayskull. With dark magic, devious technology, and an army of loyal soldiers at his back. This sinister sorcerer believes this time he cannot be stopped. You think they'd have something about like the coffee? Oh, but what is cool says roast date February seventh. Nice, nice. I, I am debating whether, uh, oh, I guess I should show you this, Rhinox Scorponok. I'm debating whether I want to open a bag of Skeletor coffee. I mean, how good can it be, right? It comes from Chicago. Chicago really known for its coffee. Now this is... This is cool, but I want, I wanted this to be the box. This is just an insert, but there it is. Rhinox, there's no gray on the top of the Rhinox like there was in the original Beast Wars Japan release. That would have been a very nice touch, but there's no gray. Maybe they'll make that a Takara Tomy mall exclusive. You can only get at certain hours of the day in certain malls if you follow a weird TikTok or something. Regardless, box three down. Box four. Box four is just really big. I promise you I'm cutting the tape. 
I'm just doing it here off screen. Box four. See, there's a box four. There's a box five too. Speaking of coffee. Mm -mm -mm. More He-Man. This is Origins and Masterverse. The art of Masters of the Universe. Very excited about that book. You know I've written a few books. Well, here they are. Transformers Reactivate. Starscream Bumblebee. I don't understand the weird colors on Starscream. Is it like it's trying to mimic the Energon type of coloring? Because it's not uniform in color. You know, I got two, one to open, one, one to keep sealed. You got to when it's a window box. Optimus and Soundwave. Now, looks like Soundwave. Okay, so Starstream's a little bigger than Bumblebee and Optimus is a lot bigger than Soundwave. I mean, that Optimus is, is adequate. It looks very inspired by the film, by the Bumblebee film. The Soundwave has a very dark of the moon head G1 looking body, but it's, it, you know, it's not a tape deck. That, there's nothing wrong with that. It's fine. I feel like I want to open that chest, but it doesn't, the chest doesn't open. Oh, these are great. I absolutely love these. Oh, look at that box, man. Look at that box. Yes. These are absolutely great. I, I love model kits. Optimus Primal robot mode. Yeah, these are great. Absolutely love these. Uh, Optimus Primal. Gorilla Mode. It's a, it's a different model kit. You can't take this model kit and transform it or take it apart and recombine it. They're two different model kits. Optimi. All right, look at that box. That would be an A plus for presentation. Straight fire, Scourge. A plus for presentation. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love the box. Well done. Well done. B of Bumble. The render is a little weird on this one, but yeah, I'll give this one an, an A. Not an A minus, just an A. Um, Optimus Prime Pen. I don't remember what this was. Oh, for MP44. Oh, yeah, just a little Optimus Pen. Sure. Ah, yes. Excellent. Heftier than I thought it would be. This is a uh, Crystal. Crystal Warrior, Marvel's Crystal. So there it is. After all these years, Crystal is back. After forty years, we get our first Crystal figure. In forever. Here is another. Oh, a Silver Streak pen. I'm sure. I'm sure this one looks just as nice. Yep, fantastic. Looks just like the Prowl one. The other Reptilian Warrior from Thundercats. Awesome. Cool. Thank you. Oh. We're gonna have to open one of these. 
We're gonna we'll get we'll get there. Relax, we'll get there. Uh, what else did I get? Oh, Tigatron Black Arachnia. Cheetor Waspinator. Ah, oh, love these. Love these. Flame Toys. Hound. This is probably the most stylized out of all of them. I do love Flame Toys, though. Do, do love Flame Toys. And Shockwave. I want to build Shockwave. And uh, awesome brown box, Megatron, and Megatron comic book. Yeah, all right. Ah, do we even want to get to the other box? No, we don't need to get to that other box because we're gonna open some stuff here. So, sorry, fifth box. We're not going to play with you. Yes. Cut the film. So these are little tiny. Are they are they model kits or are they figures? Remember, if you want to open a box without creasing it, you take the back edge of your knife, the non-sharp sharp part, put it in, and you slowly work that crease, that flap up. If you take the sharp part of your knife and work it in, you're going to cut off the flap. You moron. So, we got nine model kits inside. I believe it's a full full set and are they blind packed oh no they're not blind packed so we have optimus oh they are blind packed it tricked me again a plus in the presentation all right so i have a three and 36 shot of getting an optimus a four and 36 chance of getting a jazz four and 36 ironhide ratchet prow blue streak a 1 in 36 six chance of getting a uh, unknown Optimus type figure. A 4 in 36 of getting Thundercracker Skywarp and Megatron. But is it a whole set? Remember, always cut away from yourself towards your enemies. Never cut towards yourself. I don't like how this is glued in. So I have instructions for Optimus, but it might just be, yeah, so these are just generic instructions that come with every figure. Just completely generic instructions. I'm trying to figure out who I have. I'm gonna say it's a seeker. No! It's a mess. Holy crap. It's a freaking mess. It's Megatron. And he comes with a pog. Remember pogs? So this is this is what you get. We'll open this other little bag of doom. <laughs> more, more stuff on the tree. Great. So these are all these are all the things. 
These are all the things you got. All right. All right. That's cool. That's cool. Um, I'll tell you what. I will open these off camera and then promise to tell you guys later what's in it and if there's a whole set. Let's just play one more. Let's play one more time. I'm gonna try opening it. I hate it when they glue stuff down. I'm gonna try that. Yeah, cutting it's gonna be the best way. Yep, yeah, cutting it's gonna be the way to go. Let's see. Let's see, here we got this one. Seeker. Hey! Thundercracker! One of my favorite, favorite characters. Thundercracker is my favorite seeker. Excellent. Excellent. Two common ones. Great. So how many figures are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's nine in a box. Great. Great means you well you know what that means oh there's a flap on this even better so rc and there she is way bigger than i thought she was going to be yeah i thought that rc was going to be smaller but here she is she's big comes with a bunch of extra hands extra head um Part of me thinks, hey, it would have been cool if they threw in a G1 head, but then eh, it doesn't really go with the body. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. No nothing matters. Nothing. Nothing matters at all. And just for giggles. Oh, oh, oh. Just because I don't remember what's in here. Let's open up the last box. I don't look to see what's in my pile of loot. I just see, hey, this item needs to ship. So I go ship it all. Ship all of it. Thundercats, Willa. I would have preferred a Berserker or a Lunatic, Cobra Trooper, Super 7. Scarlet. Oh, Starscream. It's the Super 7 box. Schnoff. Schnoff. Oh, Locutus of Borg. Yes. Lord Zed. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. Doc. Ooh. Fancy. Storm Shadow. I actually would like to get that signed by the voice actor. Rotaro. Adequate selection. Another Reptilian. Gotta love those troop builders. Lord Zed's throne. It's his chair. I bought a chair. I bought a chair. Huh. Reactive sound wave. And, uh, oh. King Randor. I believe I shall get this signed by Kevin Smith when I am going to a private screening at Kevin Smith Cedar in New Jersey. Uh, me and 10 people. So I will have Mr. Kevin Smith sign that for me. 
wonderful show. And last and certainly not least, I still haven't opened a single one of these. Not because I don't want to. I just, it's time. It's time. I have to have a show where I open up boxes. Otherwise, I get the box and I pack it away. I, I still have piles of loot from Big Bad Toy Store I've never opened. I don't even know what's in those boxes. All right. Don't be like me. Collect what you like. Maybe don't over collect. Is there such a thing as over collecting and spending too much money? Has been Toys and Comics is coming next month at the end of March, so make sure you stop by 2378 Wilbur Boston Road, Wilbraham. There's a phone number, but I don't know it off the top of my head. Also, a lot of people ask me, will I have an online presence? I mean, do you want to come do that for me? I don't have time for that. Anyway, that was Cut the Tape. Make sure you register to vote. I'm not telling you who to vote for. Just telling you it's important to vote. Wash your hands. If you're sick, stay home. Have your dogs and cats spayed or neutered. And remember to... Give to your local animal shelters, even if it's just the gift of your time. And thank you, Aunt Jessica. You've made this a very, very special day. Peter doesn't have these. Do you, Mr. Destron? <laughs>